Well, it's that time of year again. Although that time of year again seems to be coming three, four times a year now. What I'm talking about is the Sephora sale. This time we're calling it the Sephora Rouge Spring Savings Event. It's been known by many a name, but we're just here to save some cash, right? So today I am going to share with all of you my recommendations. We'll talk a little bit about what's in my cart, some of the things that I know I'm gonna get, some of the things I might get, and some of the things I'm not gonna get. So we will jump into that, but if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. But if you're here to hear about some makeup, some loves, maybe some not so loves, all of the things we wanna save our money on, then let's get right into it. Now, if you're like me and you tend to watch quite a few of these recommendations videos, you've probably heard all of these details already. So I'm gonna go through them really quick. I will also let you know that everything will be timestamped down below if you wanna skip around from category to category. All right, let's get right into this. All right, let's talk about the sale. Now, the higher you are in the Sephora Insider program, the sooner you get to shop and the more discount you get. You can sign up to be an Insider member for free. All you have to do is sign up online or in store and that grants you access to the sale for 10% off starting on the 15th through the 19th. But if you are a VIB member, which means you've spent $500 in the earning year, you do get 15% off and you get to start shopping on the 13th. Now, if you are a Rouge member, that means you've earned $1,000 within that earning year and you get to start shopping on the 9th. So again, you'll be able to earn 10 to 20% off depending on where you are in the rewards program. I'll make sure to put all the details here and the dates as well. Now, just a quick side note, as we're sitting here talking about the rewards program, I just realized that I have a $100 voucher that I earned by cashing in points that actually expires in five days. If I hadn't done this video, I don't know if I would have remembered that and I would have lost out on that because they definitely do not extend those. So I guess I'm going to be doing an order sooner than I thought because I have to do that before the sale starts. Oh, pressure, but I'm glad that I remembered that. All right, let's get into some of my loves. I am being pretty narrowed down in my recommendations for this year. I'm really choosing the things that I truly love that I truly think that you would enjoy and I have tried a lot of makeup and some of it I've really enjoyed and it might not be in here that doesn't mean I don't like it anymore it could be that I've mentioned these in a previous recommendations video which by the way I will make sure to have those linked down below or it could be something that while it's good it isn't like something that truly stands out in my mind and I feel like a lot of the makeup that has really wowed me this year isn't something that you get at Sephora you guys know that I've been doing a lot of indie brand shopping and I feel like some of those are my most memorable products. So really, I'm just gonna be going through some of the things that I know that I truly love, that I've used enough times to feel like I can truly give you an honest recommendation. So let's start out with some skincare because I truly think that that's where the best beauty starts from. You gotta take care of your skin, otherwise it just doesn't matter what goes on the top of it, right? I was actually watching my winter favorites so that I could kind of make sure that I'm not mentioning too much of what I mentioned in that video, but I did have quite a few skincare items in there. I do still enjoy all of those, so I will make sure to have that link down below, like I said, so that you can check that out. But one of the things that I don't have on there that is something that I really enjoy and I'm considering getting is the Youth to the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser. It is $36 for eight ounces, and I have gotten this several times in smaller sizes, whether it's in like a little travel kit or I think there was a Sephora Favorites. I really like this cleanser. There's something about the scent of it. It just has a very like fresh green scent. It gets off my makeup well. It doesn't strip my skin. It's just something that I really enjoy. I just tend to save money on cleansers and spend more money on actives. And so it's harder for me to spend that much money, but it is very nice. So if you are comfortable with that price range for a cleanser and you don't have a backup drawer of a ton of cleansers that you're trying to get through like I do, this is a great one. I might still pick it up, but I'm unsure. <laughs> Okay, here is one that I'm excited to be able to talk about this year because Paula's Choice is now at Sephora. I wanna to talk to you about the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. And by the way, I'm just sitting here looking at my loves list on my phone, but this exfoliant is one of the first exfoliants I started with. It is like a liquid toner type where you'll put it on a cotton round and give a swipe to your face, but this is $29.50 for four ounces. That's a little on the higher side, but in the world of exfoliants, that's actually a pretty good price for a great product. Now, this is 
a perfect product if you are newer to the world of exfoliation. This isn't gonna be a crazy like chemical peel type strength. It's just gonna be a good place to start and it's a really easy way to use this product. It really is lightweight on the skin, so if you're looking for something that goes well under makeup, this is great. I love Paula's Choice. I will say on the brand website, I have gotten 25% off sometimes. So if you're looking for a good bundle of skincare and you might be interested in a bigger order from Paula's Choice, I would maybe hold out for a sale there, especially if you're in the lower tiers within the insider point range, because you know, 10 or 15%, I know that you can get better on this brand's website. And in all honesty, you can get better on quite a few brands' websites. So I think that this sale is a way to get a little bit from a lot of different brands. But if you're looking for some great skincare, Paula's Choice definitely has a lot. I've talked about a few of the products. There is one more that I'll be mentioning later that I'm really interested in trying. Okay, here's one that I've talked about before. I talk about it a lot and I'm gonna talk about it again. The First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is just such a go-to for me. It's a ride or die. I have to have a backup in my collection at all times because I use it probably at least three days a week. This is such a nice glowy priming moisturizer. It just gives a little bit of luminosity to the skin. It doesn't have like shimmer or sparkle. It just, I don't know. I don't know if you guys will even be able to see this. Hopefully you can pick up that glow like compared to this hand. Now obviously some of that is hydration, but this is that product that I'm gonna put on when I feel a little lackluster, but I don't wanna be like super tin man. Like I just want that more natural glow. It's what I put on when I'm just gonna be fresh faced and I wanna have that youthful look. This is so good. It doesn't irritate my skin. Now I usually will use this layered on top of my regular moisturizer, but it is hydrating enough, especially in the spring and summer that this could totally just be my only moisturizer. It smells really good, just like light. It isn't like overpoweringly fragranced. I do really enjoy it. And uh, I'm gonna have to check my backups because I might be snagging one in the sale. All right, another key product in our skincare, sunscreen. Now I just recently posted about this one on Instagram. This is a Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. This is a completely transparent SPF 40. I'm gonna show it to you guys here. Now this does have that like silicone feel, I guess I would say. It is water and sweat resistant. You guys can see I just layered it over the top of that priming moisturizer and you, you can't see it at all. It really has a very like smooth feel. Now, to me, this isn't as silicone feeling as like the Smashbox mm -hmm, photo finish thingamajig. That one is like, I think the most well-known like silicone feeling primer. I also really love that this is a reef safe product. That means that someday when I'm able to travel more, be back in the ocean, going snorkeling, I know that I can wear this, protect my skin, and also protect the coral reefs and all of the beautiful fish. Hold on, let's rewind a second because I want to make sure that I'm mentioning the prices of all these products. The Coconut Smoothie Skin Priming Moisturizer, Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, you know, the one with the long name that's still fantabulous. It is $30 for 1.7 ounces, and the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen is 1.7 ounces for $34. Moving on, let's talk a little bit about foundation. Now, I have two that I'm gonna recommend to you, and I'm honestly, I don't really remember. I'm pretty sure that I did the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Gel Cream in my winter favorites, but I wanna talk to you guys about the Complexion Rescue Stick. This is again from Bare Minerals. And I just love this. I've been wearing it more recently and it's actually what I have on today. And the finish of this is just so nice. It really looks very satiny. It has, I think, a pinch more coverage than the gel does, but it also doesn't lay like quite as dewy on the skin. So maybe it just seems like it has more coverage because of the finish, but I really, really enjoy this. I started freaking out because I noticed that on the Sephora site, it was on sale. And I swear, so it's $33 for the 0.35 ounce stick. And I swear that when I looked at it the other day, it was on sale for $19. And I was like, should I snag it now before my color runs out? Or should I wait until the Sephora sale? I was so torn. And I was actually talking to my friend, Stephen Ford about this. And I was like, I love this product. I'm scared they're getting rid of it because it's on sale at Sephora for like almost half off. I don't know what to do. And he looked and he was like, Kelly, it's $32 down from 33. And I was like, 
Okay, I could have sworn it was $19, so I could be going crazy, but I have two different shades. I have bamboo, which is what I'm wearing today, so that's more of my like winter spring and then I have ginger which is more like summer into fall so if you guys can see this is all that I have left of this it is like the tiniest nubbin by the way I am also wearing the shade chestnut I got this like cute little mini at some point from I think it was Sephora and it's this uh, nice like warm toned obviously far too deep <laughs> to be a foundation for me but it really does make like a nice bronzer or like what are we calling them now? Like blonzers, like a blush and bronzer combo. It just warms up my skin really nicely. And because it is a complexion product, like meant to sit on your skin really nicely as like a cover product, this really just blends into the skin beautifully. So if you're looking for a creamy product to use as a contour stick or a bronzer stick, you could use this as well. So here is that chestnut shade just blended out. So it, this is definitely more of like a warm golden bronzer, but I'm sure that they have shades that would work to be a little bit more cool toned if you did want to use it as a contour stick. But I just decided eh, I'll throw this one on and show you guys the possibilities with this stick are endless. So again, $32 on sale, a buck off right now, but I do really enjoy that one. Okay, another foundation I want to recommend, and I wasn't planning on picking this up, but I might now because I saw that Sephora during the sale is doing 30% off the entire Sephora collection. So this is the Sephora S Clean Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. I have talked about this on my channel many a time. It has very quickly become one of my favorite foundations. It is such a nice, like, radiant satin finish. Um, I would say a bit more glowy than like the Complexion Rescue, but not like into the hella dewy category. Now this foundation is only $20 for a full ounce of product. And during the sale, you'll be able to get it for 30% off. 30% off for everyone, no matter whether you are a VIB or you are Rouge, wherever you are within the tier, you can get this for 30% off. So by the way, I have the shade 11, which is light medium with neutral undertones. And I think it is a really good match for me. Probably that like good in the middle shade that I could wear in any season, maybe add a little bit of something darker in the summer, maybe add a little something of something lighter in the winter. I'll make sure to link a video up here where I'm putting it on, whether it's the first impressions or another time that I've used it. So you guys can see this in action if you were curious to see this, but man, it is so good. All right, so let's talk a little bit about moving on in our makeup application into setting powder. Now, this product is something that I have grown to love. And in all honesty, we started off on a rocky relationship, but I'm going to recommend to you guys the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. So for me, where the issue lied was in the shade. Now I actually wear the shade One Fair. I'm not the lightest skinned person. I have several friends here in the YouTube space that also wear this that are very much lighter than me. But I think for me, the preference comes within wanting a bit lighter under eye, which is Really, the only place I use a setting powder is like under the eye, right around the nose, sometimes on the chin, and that's about it. I did get the next shade, which I believe is light, and it was just too dark. I, I felt like it looked like I had just placed other makeup over the top of my current makeup. And I don't, I don't want it to look like that. I don't want it to look like anything. I just want it to hold everything where it's supposed to stay, right? So I think part of that is I like a very emollient concealer. And a lot of times if you put powder over something damp, it's going to darken up. And I think that maybe that's what happened. So I do actually wear fair. Um, I maybe could see switching to light in the summertime if I do actually get to be outside a fair bit, but you guys also know I'm trying to get through this RCMA this year, so this is probably what I'll use <laughs> during those times, but I do really like this. I love that it is very, very finely milled. I love that it being in a compact, it's gonna be easy to travel with someday, and it just is so sleek, and of course, this packaging, Charlotte Tilbury just makes you feel like a bougie bee, and I'm here for it. So if you did want to give this one a go, it is $45 and in my opinion, well worth the money. While we're here, we might as well stick with it. Let's keep going with Charlotte, the Hollywood contour wand. <sighs> I wish I didn't like this so much because it is kind of expensive. What is this one? I got to look it up. This is $38 for a speck of product. I don't even know what's in here. It doesn't say on the tube, 0.41 fluid ounces. Oh yeah, that's like, that would be like spending over $75 for a foundation. If this was a foundation, it would be $75 an ounce. That's pretty expensive, but 
It's not a foundation, it's an amazing miracle contour product and it is well worth it. So I do have the fair medium shade. It is definitely more of your like cool toned product, especially swatched next to the um, complexion rescue sample that I have. You guys can see, and obviously I'm not blurring this out a crazy ton, but it does have more of that like cool toned vibe to it. It blends out so beautifully. It just melts into the skin and looks so, so wonderful. So if you have it in your budget, if you've been wanting to try this one, now is a great time to snag it. It is worth it. I love it. All right, now let's go into blushes. Of course, you guys know that I'm gonna be talking to you about creams. Cream blush is my jam. I love it, I love it. Uh, I have two of them here and to me, they are very different. So let's just jump into these and I'll explain this to you. So first of all, the Tower 28 Beach Please blushes. Now I'm late to this game. Everybody has the, what is it, Golden Hour? Uh, I didn't have that one. I would seriously consider picking up that one if I hadn't just done my blush declutter and realized how many blushes I have. That being said, there are a couple in my Sephora cart right now. We'll get into that. I'm getting ahead of myself, but this is the shade Power Hour and this is so pretty. So this to me is different than a lot of the cream blush shades I go towards. I usually tend to go towards like brighter, lighter, definitely corals, peaches, colors like that. But this uh, Power Hour shade is just that like, it's got just enough of that natural tone to it that it looks so pretty. Uh, I will say that this is more on the satin to like slightly sheeny side, like not super dewy. It doesn't actually feel tacky on the skin, but it does look a little bit sheeny. So the other blush that I have to recommend that's a cream is the LYS Higher Standard Matte Cream Blushes. The reason for that is the finish difference. If you prefer something that's more of that matte, this is gonna be where it's at, matte, at rhyme in here. So I'm gonna put out the two shades that I have. I have Kindness, which is the lightest kind of like peachy pink shade. It's definitely more in that peach shade. And then I also got Passion, which is the more like bright berry shade. So as these dry down, hopefully you'll be able to see that in the light, but the Power Hour shade has a little bit more of a sheen. It's not dewy, but next to the two LYS ones, you can definitely see these are far more matte. So to me, some of that comes down to finish preference on the skin. It also is sort of about your skin type. If you have really dry skin, these Tower 28 ones are gonna look beautiful. If you have oily skin or you just really prefer a matte blush, I would definitely go to the LYS. I think sometimes it can be very hard to find a matte cream blush that still blends out beautifully. And you guys, these are so great for the price. These are $16, $16, and hello, the rose gold triangle is so cute. So I love the packaging on these. By the way, the price on the Tower 28 one, this also isn't too bad. These are $20, and again, I like the packaging on these as well. So I think that these are both in a really great price range, and I love both of them. I had considered picking up another one of the LYS blushes, but you guys know I, I truly do like something with a little bit more of a sheen to it, a little bit more of a dew. I really enjoy these, but I'm gonna stick more towards the dewy side of things. So I'm not gonna be getting any more of the LYS blushes. I do have another LYS product in my cart. Again, talking about that in a minute. So let's move on to eyeshadow. Now, if there are categories that I've skipped, I know I'm not giving you guys a concealer or a highlight. It honestly is just that either the ones in my other videos I still love, those are still the ones I would recommend, or like in the case of highlights this year, most of the ones that I've really been enjoying, I haven't really been buying a lot, but the ones that I've been enjoying, you can't get at Sephora. They're either an indie, or you get them at Beautylish, or you get them at the drugstore. So I don't have a highlight for you. I have a feeling most of us already have more than enough highlights. So anyway, <laughs> moving on to eyeshadow, I have two to recommend to you, and they're at very different ends of the spectrum as far as prices. So I wanna talk to you about the Aether Beauty Mini Crystal Eyeshadow Palettes. So I do have both of these. I have the Topaz and the Ametrine. Here is the Amatrine, you're going to get much more of a mauve like pinky purple situation. And then for the uh, Topaz palette, it's in that more like grungy olive and like rusty brown. Now I did do a video on these palettes when I first purchased them. I will go ahead and link that video so that you can check that out if you want to. But truly, I love these. I think that a for $24 regular price, 
that might seem a little bit pricey for a little palette like this, but this is a clean beauty brand if that's important to you, or these would make a really great gift if that's important to someone that you care about. They're also so stinking cute. The packaging is so pretty. And you know, if you're looking for a new brand to try, these are super fun. You guys know that most of my focus has been on indie brand eyeshadows this year and Aether is an actual indie brand. I'm so excited that they are at Sephora, but they are an indie brand. I've really liked everything I've tried. I do really like their face palettes as well, side note. So if you do want some powder product recommendations for me, the Aether Beauty face palettes are great as well. But these for $24, you know, with a little bit of a discount, it's something that's great to like toss into your bag. You can take it on the go with you. They are super beautiful. So not only does Aether care about what goes into their products, but they care about what their products go into. This whole packaging is recyclable. It's so great. All you have to do is snip off the little elastic because there's no mirror in here. You don't have to worry about that. You can just throw this whole package into the recycling bin. How great is that? So I do think that for $24, this is a great way to try a brand that you haven't tried before. I love that they are crystal infused. So it's just something that's a little special and different. If you have like a mom in your life, this would be a great little Mother's Day present, something, you know, just fun to give a friend for spring. I love these and I highly recommend them. Okay, let's go to the complete other side of the budget spectrum. The Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Yeah, this one is $129. I got this by using a Rouge Reward, so I paid $29 for it. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know that I would pay $129 for it. But, you know, if you are a Natasha Denona eyeshadow lover, if you love greens and blues and some of these beautiful bronzes that are in here, this is just such a wonderful palette. The color scheme really speaks to me. You have such a fun variety in here, like, you, you just can't beat it. The formulas in here, I mean, these creamy mattes that Natasha put in here are gorgeous. So blendable, so buttery. The packaging on this is just so pretty. I am so glad to have this one in my collection. I think that it was definitely one of my top purchases of the past year. It is not exactly a new palette, but man, it is one that every time I touch it, I'm so glad I have it. Okay, more eyeshadows, but actually these are products that could double as more than eyeshadows. And these are the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. Now, I think that all of these I would use as an eyeshadow, although I think I did use one of these as a highlighter, but these are multi-purpose waterproof cream products that are amazing. I actually just placed an order when the Beautylish sale was on because Danessa Myricks is a newer brand to Sephora and Sephora is not carrying all of her products yet. But you guys know I have a very strong love for Danessa Myricks products. So I think that my first product that I ever got was the Nebula shade. This is the Color Fix Foil. And then I got the Twin Flames, which unfortunately right now Sephora isn't carrying, but then I just kept buying more Color Fix. I have to be honest, in the Beautylish sale, I ordered four, five more color fix shades, just because when I did my recent live where I used this primary yellow shade, I was blown away by the longevity. You guys, I did some fun mixing, layering. If you guys wanna see that video, I will make sure to pop it up here because I really had a lot of fun with it and truly, I thought it was a great video, so I, I wish that more people had gotten to see that one. It's something that I'm very proud of just because I love both the eye looks. But anyway, I digress. So I did this primary yellow and threw the glaze over the top. This is the clear glaze, like, how cute is this little like crystal bottom? Uh, this was a miracle. Like this shadow lasted for hours, for hours and hours without any creasing. And that's what Danessa says it's going to do because it's waterproof. And I have to be honest, I didn't think that would happen because when I did the nailed it look inspired by a Danessa Myricks look at that time, I did not have a color fix that would work for the look. So I used a very long wearing eye pencil that I have from Laura Mercier, those caviar sticks stay forever. And I used that and threw a lip gloss over the top because again, I didn't have this glaze. That creased within moments, like within two minutes, it was starting to crease. This, again, it was hours. It was hours and hours, and I'm really just enjoying these. The colors are beautiful. You can mix them. You can intermix like a foil with a cream to get something with a bit of shimmer. You can mix a glaze with a matte to make something kind of creamy. They can go on the cheeks, they can go on the lips, they can go on the eyes. I've seen Danessa do contour with it. I am so excited. I am definitely gonna have to do a video with the new shades that I got. I was thinking about doing a live where we like see how many ways that we could use a color fix on our face. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I just, I'm so excited about these very multi-purpose, very beautiful products. So I would recommend 
any of these. They're so beautiful. I really like the foils. They definitely have some beautiful sparkle and shift to them. Any of the mattes are going to be gorgeous. Of course, the glaze, they do come in, I believe, three shades, the clear, and then you have like a shimmery pink and like a shimmery bronzy gold, I do believe. So check it out. I know, unfortunately, Sephora doesn't carry all of the color fix shades, but boy, they're beautiful. So snag a couple to try them out if you haven't. And by the way, these little babies are $18, but you could probably like put these in your will. <laughs> like, it would take a long time to use one of these up. Uh, a little goes a long way, and so you get a lot of bang for your buck. Okay, this one probably isn't a surprise to any of you. If you watch my channel regularly, the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara. I just can't stop talking about this. I can't stop using it. I really, really love it. It is to me like a push-up bra for your lashes. You get beautiful, thickened, lengthened, curled lashes within an instant. I do wish that the wand wasn't the size of a baseball bat just because I'm a little sloppy and I always, always get it somewhere on my face, but it's worth it. Um, <laughs> I would like it if they came up with like a baby upswing, <laughs> maybe like same formula, same shape of wand, but just a little bit smaller, but I will deal with it. I will deal with it. They must have known I was going to love it since they put it in rose gold packaging. This is, by the way, $28. It is a clean beauty brand. I love Bite. I, I really don't think I've ever tried anything from this brand that I haven't enjoyed. Okay, I might as well take that segue to move right into lip products. Let's talk about lip glosses. Now, you guys know my favorites are the Fenty Gloss Bombs, at least one of my favorites. So that I'm just going to throw out there boring. It's in like every single one of my Sephora favorites, but yes, I still do love those. But I want to talk to you guys about the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss. This is what I have on my lips today. This is the shade Cider Donut. I love these. I think they're so pretty. I do have just a little bit of lip liner on, but this shade is, is just so pretty. It's got this like really nice, like warm fleck in it. It's, it's almost like a mauve and a bronze had a baby. That's, that's going to be what I say. A mauve and a bronze had a baby and it's sheer enough. It, it has a l very, very slight scent to it. This has a little bit of cinnamon oil in it. So I think that that's, that's what I'm getting is a slight bit of cinnamon for that plumping effect, but it doesn't make it feel like fire on your lips. This isn't going to be super, super tingly. I just really like it. And I think that the shades are lovely. It just, it just gives that like luminosity to the lips that is very sexy, very pouty. I really like these. They are $25 by the way. All right, so now we're gonna go through my cart. This is not an edited down cart. This is sort of like my mid, midterm cart, let's call it that. I've just kind of thrown all the things I'm interested in here and we can kind of chat and kind of go through what I'm thinking about. So this first one is a product that I know I'm gonna get. Uh, it's a Danessa Myricks color fix. This is the shade Exposed, and this is like a cool toned, like taupey brown. And the reason I want to get this is to be used as a contour shade for the eyes, for the face. I am really enjoying how waterproof these shades are. So I also thought they would be really nice to lay down to then put a glitter primer down to put like my fun duochrome, multi-chrome, shifty, beautiful shades over. Because I feel like sometimes when you lay down a powder eyeshadow and then you go through with like a glitter primer, the glitter primer starts to like pull up some of that powder shadow down below. So then sometimes you lose some of the color underneath if you're using a more sheer duochrome to go over the top. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like you just start to lose the color impact. So I thought that this would be a really nice way to have that nice base to then put a color over the top. And with this exposed shade, I also thought that I could use this to like give some of these like fun foiled shades a little bit of dimension, like carve out the crease a little bit, you know, get that more contoured look and then go over with the glaze. And since it's still that same waterproof formula, I could have a beautiful glossy lid that will last. So that's what I'm getting. Again, I'm gonna show you guys at some point all of the shades that I got. I, I kind of went ham in the Beautylish sale. So moving on, Blushes. Who? How many do we have in here? Four. We have four, and they're all creams. Good night. Okay. So I have one of the Melt Cosmetics cream blush lights in here. Right now, I have Golden Hour in my cart. I do want to do a little bit more research. Here's the thing. I watched Kinky Sweat do her like cream blush extravaganza, and I watched her do the Melt uh, blush light review. <sighs> 
she just she's so beautiful she has the most beautiful cheekbones i want anything i want anything she puts on her face but these look so nice i like the fact that they actually have a bit of like a shimmer to them i don't think i have any creams that have a shimmer to them so i'm pretty sure i am going to pick one of these up these are 22 dollars, which i didn't think is too bad uh, this is one that I'm pretty sure is going to remain in my cart. You guys will have to let me know if you have gotten one of these because I know they've been out for a bit. I've just been holding off. Let me know which colors you have, which you love. Do you think I'd like golden hour? Let a girl know. All right, another blush that I had put into my cart. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in here, but this is the Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. Uh, I have the shade Sayoko and I have Sonoya in my cart. So this was a recommendation from a beautiful subscriber, Molly. I did talk about this in another video, at least another one other video, but you guys, this is, I don't even want to, I don't even want to call it a cream. It's like this like bouncy powder situation. It is, <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. It's so beautiful. It like goes on as like a dry cream and blurs into, into the most velvety powder finish ever. It is so beautiful. These are definitely more on the matte side. Uh, they're so pretty. Like even just touching that just now and blending it out, I was like, ooh, maybe I do want another one of these. I do want another one. I just don't know that I need another one. Uh, like I said, just went through and decluttered some of my cream blushes. Probably don't need a lot more. Eesh. Again, I'm not sure about this one yet, but Sonoya is more of like a mm, warm pink, whereas Sayoko is more of like this like dusty sheer red. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But if you don't have any of these and you like a really like blurred matte blush, you should get one of these. Okay, I'm just going to keep going with the blushes here. Uh, two of these are Merit products. So the first one is the Merit Flush Balm Cream Blush. Now, who knows if the makeup gods will shine down on me and this will be back in stock because I have the shade Beverly Hills in here. It just recently went back in stock. Today, I think I added it to my cart and it's already gone again. So it'll depend on whether I can get it during the sale. It's $28 and I am fully planning on getting this because of my friend, Jen from All Feisty. Uh, I will make sure to link her channel down below so that you guys can check her out if you want some beautiful luxury recommendations. Ugh, she just, she said she had nothing but glowing reviews for most of the Merit products. This is one of them. There's another one that I have in here, but she also said that these blushes remind her of the Salt New York blushes, which I guess she's maybe paying me back because I recommended those to her. She bought some of those, so she recommended this to me and I'm probably gonna buy one of these. So maybe it's sort of like balancing the scales a little bit, but you guys know I love the Salt New York blushes. I really do like the concept of the like domed applicator here. <sighs> I don't know, we'll see. Of course, it doesn't matter right now because it's out of stock. So hopefully it's back in stock by the start of the sale. Again, let me know if you've gotten any of these. So the other blush that I have in here is I guess technically not a cream, but this is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush. I have the shade Coral Cloud in here. In all honesty, I am probably gonna take this out just because I know that I have Ulta points that I've been higher, just because I know I have Ulta points that I've been hoarding and I know that Bare Minerals is sold at Ulta as well, so maybe I should just like take this out and end up getting it with some Ulta points. Um, the texture of these just looks so interesting. It kind of, to me, looks like the, is it like the MAC Glow Play blushes where it's sort of like that like slightly putty, uh, not putty, I don't know. They look cool. Let me know again if you've tried any of these. I really need to limit this down, especially since some of these shades look so similar to each other. I just love a good coral, peachy, slightly pinky cream blush. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. But <laughs> seriously, you guys, I need to stop. So let me know which one you think I should get. Okay, I'm starting to get a little goofy here. So let's move on quickly. Uh, let's talk a little bit about complexion. So I already told you that I'm planning on picking up one of the clean glowing skin foundations just because 30% off, you can't beat that. I'm gonna get another one of these to have as a backup. I'm also looking at the Merit Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Foundation and Concealer Stick. Again, Jennifer from All Feisty, she said that she loves this. She has impeccable taste. If she likes it, I have a feeling I will. She has dry skin, I have dry skin. The only hesitation for me here is 
I have dry skin in the fall and winter and spring. We're going kind of spring into summer. I don't know with Merit being a clean beauty brand. Let me see how long, what is the expiration on these? So I don't see the expiration listed here on the Sephora website. That would be my only thing. Um, at first I was like, ooh, $38 for 0.13 ounces. That's pretty painful. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This one is a maybe. Let me know if you have tried this one as well. Not that I don't trust Jennifer because I do, but man, this cart is adding up really quick. All right, the other foundation that I'm looking at here, I have two foundations in my cart, you guys, three foundations. I don't buy foundations that often. I can't believe I have three in my cart. I definitely need to get rid of one of these. Uh, I have the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation in here. Clean Beauty, beautiful packaging, $22. I've heard glowing reviews pretty much all around. What does it have for ratings right now? Yeah, it has four and a half stars out of 170 ratings, which is so interesting because 18.6 thousand people have it in their loves list, but I wonder if that's just people that are hoping to get it during the sale too. I don't know. I, I really need to also make sure of the shade that I have. I actually reached out to Kelly from K Bella Beauty because I saw she did a review on this. She really liked the foundation. I feel like she is a little bit lighter than me. And so we've been chatting a little bit. So thanks Kelly, if you do watch this, I'm probably gonna pick up the shades that we were chatting about, but oh, buying a foundation online is always so scary, isn't it? So I'm still thinking about this one, but oh, man, I'm just so interested. I have liked all of the LYS products I've gotten and oh, I, I just, it just sounds, it just sounds so nice. All right, one more skincare item, and it's again from Paula's Choice. This is the C15 Vitamin C Super Booster Serum. This has obviously vitamin C, 15%. It also has vitamin E and ferulic acid. Ferulic acid is great for boosting the power of vitamin C. I am really trying to knock all of my hyperpigmentation from this darn like mask me out of the way, and vitamin C helps get me there now. I was using the Pharmacy Bright Cherry. I like that one. Um, I just wasn't noting, noticing as much effect from it. Before that, I was using the Drunk Elephant one, and then the texture of that just, mm, I wasn't loving anymore, so I was using the Bright Cherry. Now I just started the Biosance one with the Squalane and Rose Oil. Uh, this one I've heard great things about. It's $49. Paula's Choice prices have really gone up in the last few years. It does have five stars, five stars. I really wanna try this, but you know, vitamin C isn't exactly the most stable ingredient. So I need to make sure and check my like hoard if I have a bunch of vitamin C serums that I need to get through. Because if I do, I'm not gonna get this one. But if I if I don't have anything other than the Biosense that I just started, I might get this one unopened. It should be fine for a while. So again, let me know if you've tried this one. If you haven't and you're looking for a good vitamin C, I, I really do believe in Paula's Choice products. I, I really think I might get this one. Oh, I do have one more product and that is the Paula's Choice Clear Daily Skin Clearing Treatment with 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. Right when I found out that Paula's Choice was at Sephora, I threw this in my cart because I was having a lot of like acne on my chin, probably from wearing a mask. And I was just like, okay, I love Paula's Choice. Most of the skincare has really worked for me. For $18 for a spot treatment, I find that to be a pretty good price, especially with the 20% off. I have tried a couple different spot treatments. Um, I tried the First Aid Beauty one and that one didn't really do much for me. So let me know if you guys have tried this one out. I still think I might give this one a shot. So another product that I wanna to talk to you guys about because I had it in my cart and I'm taking it out of my cart is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm. And if you guys have watched my videos recently, you'll know this is because I found the Catrice Powerful 5 Liquid Lip Balm. I'm grabbing one right here to show you. This is $6 full price and the Rare Beauty is $18. I actually got one of these on discount from Ulta, loved it so much. I actually bought three or four more. One is going into my thousand subscriber giveaway. So make sure that you guys are subscribed so you will be able to be notified when that one goes up when I reach that thousand subscribers. So I love these. I think that they are a very good dupe and for six bucks, that's like a third of the price of the Rare Beauty one. And honestly, I like these a little bit more because they're just a slight bit more shiny without being like high, high gloss. So I definitely recommend these. I'm gonna save my $18 and take that one out of my cart. Oh my gosh, I swear every time this sale comes around, I always think, oh, I'm not really gonna have much to talk about. And then when I go to edit the video, I'm like, 
Kelly. <laughs> Whoa. So if you did stick through this whole entire thing, thank you so much. I hope that the timestamps helped. Let me know if there's something that I talked about that you've tried. And also let me know if there's anything that I talked about that you're adding to your cart now. I am looking forward to the sale. Uh, who knows if I will tweak my cart a little bit between now and then. I'm sure I will do an update video for you guys with a haul when I do get my sale items. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. If you did find this helpful or entertaining, please make sure to give it a like. Don't forget again to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and I will see you really soon.